crazy. <laughs> and I just I I just thought it was gonna last like that forever. And then I had one student, uh older white gentleman in his fifties. Um, he had a sleeping problem where he couldn't sleep because with noise or movement. So yeah, I had I'm, that I'm, one. I'm, I'm sorry, wait, 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 wait. He had a what problem? He had a uh, uh, he he couldn't sleep with noise or movement. With my truck never stopped moving. <laughs> if you're driving, I'm or oh, I'm driving. Oh and, yeah, and he, yeah. he 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 found it he he found it hard to sleep while the truck was moving. Okay, okay. So yeah. what yeah. what happened? What happened with that? Uh, was he able? Was he well, able? That to, was a crazy uh, one. What, okay, tell me so, what's up? What's up? What happened? Yeah, that was a crazy one, and that was the worst experience. I, I never had a bad experience until that one. Um, so this is what happened. Um, he told me about that when he got on the truck. So I tried to accommodate him. Again, my truck always moved. So I said, you know, at least between midnight and 4 a.m., I'll have the truck parked. And I'll turn it off. He can get some rest. But by 6 a.m., we need to roll out. So I'll just get up and I'll drive at 6 a.m. So that was the agreement. Okay, so that happened. Uh, one night, he decided not to go to sleep right away. <laughs> he didn't go to sleep till like 2 a.m. or whatever. But he's a grown man. He can do whatever he likes to do. Um, but at 6 a.m., I'm on a load, leaving out of uh, Mexico border, Laredo. And I get up. I actually don't drive until 8 a.m. Just because I know you went to bed late. I dr- get in behind the ignition. I start the truck up. I drive. I get five minutes down the road. I have a double bunk in my truck. He jumps down from the second bunk, <laughs> the top bunk, yelling and screaming at me, like yelling and screaming at me in my truck that I'm paying for, telling me, oh, my God, I can't believe you. Oh, let me sleep. I need a few more hours of sleep. You need to stop this truck right now. And he's just going off. So I just, um, I don't yell back. I just turn the truck around. Fortunately, I was only like five minutes away from the uh, terminal, turned around and told me to get off my truck. Oh, you, you, you did it the you did it the calm, cool, and collected way. You 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 must have been like, okay, bro, no problem. I got you. I got you. Hey, I, I got you. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I, I got you. Hey, got, you went down went down to the next exit. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, right. I, I, I forgot back. I, I forgot something back at the terminal, man. So go ahead, hop back in the truck. Get uh, hop back in the bunk and get some rest, my bro. Get back to that terminal. Yeah. Hey, my J. Hey, it's time for you to go, bro. Well, what do you mean? It's yeah. time for me to go. Yeah. No, it's time for you to go, man. What oh, yeah. Mean? It's like, oh, you, no, we ain't like, having oh, this. You, can't put, you can't put me off the truck. You can't. I'm like, what do you mean I can't put you off the truck? First is my truck, not Warner's truck. <laughs> and if I don't want to work with a student, I can always say I don't want to work with him. So, so he, yeah, so he, he got, got so he got, so he got in his feeling super bad. But I mean, yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I, you know, for 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 you know, guys that's interested in trucking, and this is going forward for all you people that's listening, that's interested. You you got to know that you know your sleep, your sleeping habits is going to change. Especially, oh, yeah, especially definitely. when you run in, especially when you run in teams. I see a lot of you guys right. want to come out here and be like, yeah, I'm about to go in team drive and all like that. But you guys, when y'all team drive, yo, you, you, you know that 90% of the time when you sleep, the truck is going to be moving and you're going right. to have to figure out, you're going to have to figure out some way, somehow, some common ground to to get your sleep in to get your rest in because once it's time for once it's time for you to stop driving it's time for you the you know the you, the other person to start driving this truck right, got to exactly. be this truck got to be moving they giving us they they giving us freight that needs to be there at, i mean at a certain time and that's why the truck never stops a lot of you guys don't seem to understand that so he's thinking he goes to bed late and he's blaming you because you, you know, you, you, you getting, you on your time now. And he's blaming right. you because he's not getting to sleep in. It's, it's that's what's up. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I mean, I never wanted to say, cause I got close to most students telling them trucking ain't for you, but I've never said it. But to him, I just said, yeah, trucking is not for you. <laughs> 
because if you can't do noise, like where are you gonna park then? Right. You have these reefers next to you, other engines, right? And engines, all that bothers you. Reefers, other cars yeah. throughout the night. I mean, if 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 yeah. if you bothered, if you bothered just by the truck moving. Then you definitely exactly. not going to get you definitely not going to get no sleep in uh in the in in these truck stops. So yeah, you you exactly. might as well, you might as well see this see this early on. You know, just go ahead, get yourself a local job, get you a nine to five, bro. Get you a nine right. to five. Go to get a you know go to Pepsi, Coca Cola, the beer runs. Get yourself a nine right. to five, man. And, 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 right. I mean, you don't have to necessarily jump in the, you don't have to necessarily jump in the eighteen wheeler and go up and down these highways. You can hop in a, hop right. in a day cab and and do the nine to five bid. That's it, and you still get home, exactly. get in your bed and get some sleep. <laughs> That's what's up. Exactly. Man. So, exactly. so throughout the so throughout the years of uh throughout the years of training, man, what what kind of suggestions? Or advice do you got for you know for some of these new jacks that's coming in uh, that's coming into industry and that that needs to you know that needs to get along with their trainer in order to get what they need. Um, not every trainer is a good trainer <laughs> or a nice one. So be prepared for that. There's some good ones and some nice ones, but not all of them are nice. Um, definitely realize that how you move and carry yourself at in your home is not how it it works in the truck. Um you don't have access to a bathroom at a moment's notice because you're traveling miles. <laughs> so you are gonna have to adjust sleeping schedule's gonna have to adjust. I mean out here most of us we lose track of the days because sometimes we're driving in the day, sometimes we're driving at night. So it's gonna be a total life adjustment. Just be prepared for that. With anything, you can adjust, and everything comes with skill, a skill you can learn. So it's not impossible, but it's definitely something. Realize it's not being home every day at I, your house. I know I know them paychecks, bruh. I, I know them paychecks was pretty good throughout the five years and, 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 oh, yeah. uh, and 40 students, man. How You know, if you could still remember, how, how was the breakdown – uh, at Warner for a trainer, like, uh, do you get paid? Like, uh, so it's uh, no, it's how, nothing how do you get special paid? for the trainer. <laughs> it's nothing special for the trainer. I mean, I, other companies are a little bit different. At Warner, it's more. It's you're getting paid by the uh, whatever the truck does. So um, they pay the student. Um, I think now they're paying students between six fifty and seven hundred a week salary until they get in their own truck. Um, and as a driver, you get paid your cent per mile or dollar per mile, whatever it is, um, based on what the truck does. So you get your student's mile pay and you get your, your mile pay. So like I said, I was averaging at least 5,000 miles a week. Um, so yeah, I, as an owner operator, of course, my pay was totally different. Um, so after expenses as an owner operator, you know, I, I would clear like forty five hundred, um, okay. sometimes five thousand dollars after fuel costs and maintenance, um, and after my truck payment. My truck payment at the time is only like sixteen hundred a month. For the for the new jets that's thinking about going on their operations now during this time, I mean, with the fuel costs being crazy <laughs> and the and the rates I, I, and I the rates being low, do wait. you suggest do you suggest <laughs> them? Jumping into owner operations right now, or do you uh, think I, they should wait? I, th I think they should wait. It's ridiculous right now. Trucks are overpriced. Um, I actually, in December, before the gas prices skyrocketed, I sold my truck because I had it paid off. Um, I only paid ninety for the truck. Uh, I sold it to the dealership. I had some repairs to get done on it. They bought it for me for like sixty thousand, and then they turned around. <laughs> you sold my truck. So wait, 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 wait. They, you wait. You you huh? you paid ninety for it, right? Right. You lost mm -hmm. you you lost thirty, and then you say the you say the dealership made about a cool what fifty on it. Oh no, they made a cool seventy because they sold it for one hundred and twenty. Wow, that's crazy. And my truck had five hundred and twenty thousand miles on it. Give or take. 
And I, I got my truck with ninety thousand miles on it. So that was all the miles I put on it when I had it. Wow, that is so sick to hear, yeah. bro. I mean you get yeah. it you, I mean, you get it for you, you get it for, lost, you get it you get you it for the, lost, Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say you can say I lost thirty thousand, but I I was clearing like for the year, I cleared like three hundred and thirty thousand a year. So oh, okay. <laughs> the so, truck was a poop. So the, the, so the truck pretty much the, the truck pretty much did what it was supposed to do. It it knew the assignment. Oh yeah, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Exactly. It did what it was supposed to do. I was happy to walk away with sixty grand. <laughs> so during you know, that helped me put down on another truck. So during your time, are, are you are you still with Warner? Are are you still with them? Or oh no? no no no! I went um, this past March. Uh, cause I had just paid it off last year, March, not this year. I had paid it off. So I went, uh, got my own authority and, um, started driving, um, on my own, under my own authority. Oh, okay. Um, That's what's up. So, That's what's up. Congratulations, yeah. bro. Because I was about to ask you, like, I mean, if you was doing so well and you just mentioned, uh, you, you just mentioned 300. Are, are you serious? Yeah. Like six figures, 300 a year with yeah. Warner? With Warner, with Warner. What? Wait, 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 wait. With Warner, you was clearing a with cool Warner. three hundred thousand, three hundred k, three hundred thousand a year, and you been with Warner. You said for five years, so right, bro. What? Damn it, man. Mm. Like I said, my truck didn't stop. We we got everywhere. We we got to all our delivery spots probably about a day or two early. And I made sure they took me so I could get my next load. So we we ran it hard. <laughs> we wow, ran hard you, with my you ran I had hard and you, you, you had the you, whole, you. pretty much the whole time. Wow. And and by the sounds of it, it sounded like you had a good dispatcher because only a only a good oh, yeah. dis, only a good dispatcher could keep you the could keep you three hundred K ready, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. I had a, a, a excellent dispatcher. Um and that was Part of the reason why I kind of left because she retired and they had some new cats and I didn't like how they moved. Oh, so, <laughs> but yes, yeah, it was, has, it see, was yeah. wonderful. I was in the the top five percent of the company as a as a trainer and a driver because of the miles I did and being on time. Jeez, that sounds like me when I was with uh, J and R Schwugel, man. I mean, my my fleet manager, you know, Matt Holmes. He was he was always on point, made me money, made me, you know, got me home when I wanted to get home. And any any other little thing that I did, he made sure I was compensated for it. But as soon as he left and, you know, went to greater pastors, they 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 put me with this with this new with this new Jack Haley. And she she didn't yeah. even, she didn't even know what to do, how to do and when to do. And it started. It started affecting my money, and that was one of the main reasons exactly. why I left. Yeah, that was pretty much the same for me. Yeah. All right, man. All right. All right. Trucker Dwayne in the building. Yo, man, I really do appreciate you coming on and uh, chopping it up with me. So let's uh, let's talk about that before we get on up out of here. Let's talk about that Walmart ticket, bro. I mean, wow. So you say... You said that was from one of your former uh, students. So yeah, what, what what happened? I mean, what, what happened? He just got tired, posted up at Walmart, and then the next morning he woke up with a boot on his window? Right, exactly. Yeah, that's what happened to them. I wasn't there with them. They sent me the information to ask what to do. <laughs> so I told them, you know, they can um, try to contact you know, Warner at the time, but they were still, they were owner operated with Warner and see if they can, um, you know, give them an advance or something to cover that boot. But yeah, they were, yeah, they were in that parking lot. I had a similar situation happen to me at a Walmart in Dallas. And, but mine was a little bit different because they actually woke me up. The police woke me up. <laughs> I'm sleeping in the back. It's about 30 trucks in the parking lot. And uh, I hear a knock on my window. I get up. Half sleep in the cop. I put my window down. He's standing in my window saying, "Okay, so we put a boot on your um 
on your uh, truck because you're not supposed to be parked back here. Um, and I looked around and Boots was on everybody's truck, all 30. <laughs> and he's like, you can um, keep it professional, you know, keep your voice down. All I need you to do is you pay us $250. I can take the boot off now and you can be on your way. You get a little frisky. I'll write your ticket and probably arrest you. Oh, 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 hold up, Dwayne. Hold up, my G. <laughs> this man tells you, what would he say? Yo, I, 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 need you to, I need you to keep your voice down um, and yep. listen to what I have to say right quick. So in order to take the boot off, uh, I'm going to need $200. What? Yeah, you want me to keep my right voice now. down on this? <laughs> come, come on now, come on now. You not th- and see this the this the BS that I that I see that I that I don't like. You know what I'm saying? And I see it as I see it as a uh as as a hustle. You know what I'm saying? If I'm in, if yeah. you're gonna knock on the door, all you had to do was knock on the door. And ask me to move before you put the boot on. Before exactly, you, before I would have put the boot on. <laughs> but see, exactly. you, you you did some sneaky sly shit. You came. Yeah, they had the, everybody the, put, in the parking lot. Right, right you came. Everybody was doing it. Right, you came and put the boot on, and then hustle me out of two hundred dollars, bro. That's not yep. cool. Yeah. And That's then cool. after I paid, I just pulled out my card. He took it in my ID. He's like, I'm not giving you a ticket. Here's your receipt. And then they went and took the boot off and they went on to the next truck. Oh, but before so he left, he was like, do you need, he was like, wait, do you wait, need wait, more wait, time? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean we're not going to give you a ticket? <laughs> yeah, we're not going to give you a ticket, but here's your receipt. Uh, <laughs> and he was like, do you need, he wow. was like, do you need more time? Wow. You need more time? How many, how many more hours do you need to stay? Uh, oh, you know? uh, after, <laughs> like, after, after I'm I like, I'm you good. T- <laughs> after you just hustled me out of $200, now you're going to be like, oh, well, right. you're, you're good to go right now, you little bastard. <laughs> so, Dwayne, was there was there like any indication that was letting you guys know that y'all couldn't park there? Not in that area. There was no sign that said no truck parking, no parking. So that, I think that's why everybody, like, we had all set up, like, behind the Walmart, yeah, about 30 was, trucks in yeah, this small set, parking lot. Yeah, that was that that was a setup. That 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 was a hustle setup right there, especially if it ain't no sign yeah. that says that y'all couldn't park there, and then he's going to come and hit you with the with, with the smooth 200? Oh, well, we ain't right. going to give you, we ain't going to give you no ticket. Nigga, give me the ticket. <laughs> give, give, right. me, give me the right. ticket so I can go and fight this shit. Because they ain't no ain't ain't no signs that ain't no signs nowhere or Walmart employee nope. or anything like that that says that I couldn't park here. Right. No, nah, give me the ticket, bro. Yep. Oh, Keith, you know, we, we don't don't raise your voice, man. Oh no, we got an issue right here, my man. Hey, did you did you get that documented, bro? Did you get it on video or you was just too tired? No, I didn't I didn't get that one on video. That's why I posted the one for my student. Uh <laughs> Because it, it, it reminded me of that one. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I probably, the only thing I probably got was probably the receipt <laughs> from the, uh, from them taking the boot off. Wow, man. So yeah, because I was half 30... when I woke up. Jesus Christ. That, that dude made over like a fucking fat rat that day, man. Oh, 30, yeah. 30 trucks, oh, yeah, they 200, got paid. $200 a pop. They man, got paid. come on. Every man. single truck was doing it. When they got to my window, all, uh, it was just boots everywhere. <laughs> And they were just going one by one. He truck waking them up one at a time. Where is, and yeah, hey, where, where is this? Where is this Walmart at, bro? That we 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 need to know. Dallas, where, Texas. Uh huh. <laughs> it was in Dallas, Texas. Uh, I have to see exactly the exact address. But yeah, that that was in Dallas, Texas at a Walmart. Wow. Do you think? Now let me ask you this, because you know there's. There's a lot of there's a lot of controversy going around now that a lot of us drivers says that it's 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 Walmart that's doing this, but come to find out that it's the city ordinance. Like majority of right. those Walmarts that be, you know, that that be on the on the thing. And I, I found this out by watching the movie The Founder. Go and watch that movie. That movie 
is fucking okay. awesome. That's uh that's the the story of Ray Kroc and the McDonald brothers. So right, def- right, right. definitely go and uh check that out. So basically the property that Walmart sits on or that's built on is not Walmart property. It is the city property. Right. And right. the city is the one that, that's coming in saying no trucks can, you know, can park on the property. So no, no matter what, right. if we would have went in there and asked Walmart employees, can we park on it or not? It is not their say so because the property don't belong exactly. to them. Exactly. So do you so do you agree with me that all of this is not Walmart's fault now? Yeah, I don't think it's all Walmart. I mean, there's some Walmart that say no truck parking, and they but they have signs clearly posted. So, but yeah, it's, it's not all Walmart, especially on Mo- the incident that I had. Definitely wasn't Walmart. So that that was the, the police themselves at my window. <laughs> wow, that's me crazy! I they they hemmed you up for a smooth two hundred dollars with no sign posted. I would have told I would have told old buddy to give me my ticket. I'll I'll take that and fight that, bro. <laughs> but uh, but you know, sometimes you know they 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 see truck they see truckers as a meal ticket, man. I mean, it's it's crazy. Oh yeah, they see dollar signs. Yeah, it's it's crazy the amount of the the amount of foolery that goes that goes around and involves truckers, man. That's you know, people cut us off and trying to get that get that million dollar settlement. You ride you you ride up and down these highways and you see it every day. Big hammer and yeah. uh, and you get this uh I, oh, I, yeah. I could get the, I could get the se- right I could get the settlement you need from bit trucking accident. Been in the Uber Lyft accident, right. I can get the settlement you need. And you got people out here that's you know that's that's probably on some you know on some weak stuff over here talking about man, I wonder where I'm gonna get my next dollar from. All right, I'm about to go right. ahead and uh go ahead and put my life on the line right quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that is crazy, Trucker Durain. But yeah, man, if you could, if you could get a uh, get a hold of uh get a hold of old boy, man, you know, yeah, definitely let him know that I'm I'm interested in uh in chopping it up with him, man. But I I appreciate you uh for giving me the time and uh coming on and chopping it up, man. It's nice to meet you. I really uh it's nice to meet you. Welcome to the LOM community, and uh we'll 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 be Thank talking you. again soon, man. All right, thanks, man. All right, man. That's uh, that's gonna do it for you guys. The Lockout Men Podcast Show. If you like conversations, you know this is the best opportunity to do it over here because the best conversation starts here on the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Until next time, everybody. Y'all take it easy, and I'll get up with you guys. Peace. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids who went pop. Def to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars got pops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.